this is a pretty pretty impressive dam that we're looking at here and yeah. obviously you've, you've done some work over the years to with a, with a real focus on on water quality yeah yeah that's right um when we when we built the dam first of all there's only a little sort of a, a small dam there and then when we originally come to the property about 13 years ago the um, um we had to get water for the cattle because we're mainly cattle here and uh, so we put in a um, reticulate water system and we needed a, a good supply and that's yeah we built that and um and then fenced it all off and left heaps of vegetation around it to filter the water and keep water quality because yeah. um, the cattle do better with clean water. So did you find through the through the recent drought that vegetation and, and keeping stock out of the dam it, it, it had a positive impact on water quality? Yeah the water was a lot, was a lot clean, cleaner and um, yeah that, like the, it didn't really affect the vegetation around the edge of the dam and it just kept the water yeah the dam stayed full like that and um, yeah, really good quality. The cattle appreciate it. You've recently put a solar pump in and you're pretty happy with how that's going? Yes. We had a different pump there before that ran off compressed air, but um, it's given us a bit of grief. So we've put a solar pump in there now um, and it was able to hook into the, the infrastructure we had already um, in the ground. Yep. Um, and yeah, we have had haven't had any dramas and there's plenty of sunshine. So it's yeah, uh, yeah pumping plenty of water. That solar pump's pushing water up the hill, up to those there's a couple of header tanks on the yeah. on the hill. Yeah, that's right. The um, that pumps to 50,000 litre tanks, which is yeah, it's enough from those tanks. Uh, they supply 26 concrete water troughs right. to paddocks for the um, cattle. And so you mentioned that in some paddocks, cattle have got a choice of dam and trough. Do you do you find that cattle tend to prefer one over the other? Or? Oh, definitely. Yeah, they, they'd rather go and have a drink out of the trough rather than. Um, Drink out of the dam. Yep. Don't like getting mud in their toes. <laughs> yeah. So I noticed walking around the property um, that you've got a mixture of of both rectangular and, and round troughs. Yeah. Any any sort of yeah. Yeah. comments around around yeah. that? Like, um, the, the round troughs are good for um, grown cattle, but they're no good for the young young calves or for sheep because they can't you know the, the walls can't are too reach. high on them and can't reach. they can't access the water. But now I've gone on the longer um, dual purpose trough, like yeah. could, they're good for sheep and cattle, yeah. yeah. That's the way we'll go from now on, is the long rectangular troughs because they everything can access them easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if they fall in there, they can jump back out too. If you've set the system up and, and it sounds like it's working quite well, is there any, I guess, any tips or or advice that you would give on, on setting up a reticulation system and, and well, in your in your experience? Yeah, I think the, uh, the main thing is to have good quality troughs concrete troughs. Um, concrete are the best, there's no doubt about that, because once once they're there, they're full, nothing will damage them. Um, they can't get blown away. Good quality um, poly pipe, like the blue line. Yep. Blue line pipe, especially in this um, rocky country, where it, uh, it's a bit thicker, a bit better quality pipe too. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, good solar pump. And just with the two tanks on the hill, is that like a backup sort of system? Yeah, it is. is just reason? in case, just in case the um, pump goes down. Um, at least you know we've got probably two days to get the pump sorted to get yeah, it get okay. back in back in order and working again. But you know, like there's always there's downfalls as well. You know, like uh, if animals are only dependent on stock or trough water as well, you know, you've got to be vigilant and keep an eye on it because if a trough dr runs dry in the summertime. Yeah. You have some pretty thirsty animals around, and yeah, um, yeah. so that, yeah, maintenance reasonably high on them. Yeah, uh, but it's well worth it yeah, because yeah. of the quality of the water. Oh, well, thanks, thanks for the um, for the chat about your system there, Glenn, and, yeah. and for the overview and some really good good tips and advice there as well. So thank you. Yeah, thank you.